You can just say, the Lord, I want to say this to you. There's another level in God. Every gift that's been lying dormant, every gift in you that have not been received, every gift in you that have not been reciprocated back. But this is not the season where you'll be used up. This is the season where you'll be celebrated and appreciated. Tonight is the beginning of something major. It may look like tomorrow, it may look like it's today, but I promise you, today marks the beginning of something new in your life. Not only that you're in music, but I'm hearing music in my ears and the songs that have been written, y'all not saying nothing. The CDs that have not been released. God is about to link you up and God will not allow you to die. I speak for health challenges that have come over the last three to seven days. I speak tonight as your night of full recovery. And I speak breathing, breathing is getting better. Breathing, my God, the shortness of breath. Y'all don't want to help me give God the shortness of breath. It's going be removed from you in the name of the Lord. I'm, I speak, Father, as I lay my hands. God, you're blessed in this moment of God because you're sent her here. And God, not just as a visitor, but you sent her here because there's something that's connected to her that's connected to this house. And I bless you, Father, you will bring confirmation, you will bring affirmation, and God, you will bring manifestation of all that you promise. And I speak, health is being released. And I thank you for the songs that's coming forth for this season. I declare it in the Lord praise tonight. Come on, give him praise tonight. I love the service uh, tonight, as a matter of fact. Uh, I have really been blessed here. Uh, I, I was just amazed that Prophet Jasmine has continued to give me the exact same prophecy. He has been giving me over eight years, and he didn't even know I was talking. He was talking to the same person, because I keep changing my hairstyle, so he didn't know what the Holy Spirit did. One of the things that has stood out is that, and I, I, I'm not going to say this kind of joke, and he attracts a lot of quote-unquote renegades. Those of us who have uh, anointings that really don't fit what is called the traditional or the status quo. Uh, people who have been very misunderstood, uh, kind of quote unquote rejects, etc., etc., etc. And uh, he seems to, like David in the Bible, he just kind of attracts that kind of person. Uh, he's not into downing on people about how they dress or, or where they came from or basically uh, uh, who they are. He just kind of deals with people the way that God sees them. And uh, that's the thing that just really stood out to me about this ministry. Prophet Jasmine was so accurate, it was, uh, it was enough to make me go through the ceiling. Uh, he continued to uh, address the musical gifts in my life. Uh, I do have uh, an anointing as, I guess you would call it a minstrel, not I guess that's what it is. Uh, I am also a degree certified music educator of many, many years. So uh, my gift is that he dealt with are not just things that God has uh, mantled with me with. There are gifts that also he had me do a college for and take uh, tests to be edu an educator in the public school systems of uh, Louisiana, primarily Orleans Parish, where I have been trying to flee for several years. And uh, the man of God keeps on saying all these parents, so I knew it was God. He was also very accurate about my life. I am, I just turned 60 years old, and I've been saved 40 some years, and it's been like, uh, for some reason, after I had done so much, it seemed in ministry, and I was being rejected that it was all over. Uh, all of my travels to Africa and other places where I have uh, done missionary work and uh, did all kinds of uh, various uh, uh, ministerial things in, in the areas of the arts 
that of kind of like a lot of times it was like those kind of sacrilegious or whatever it was and uh, having been ordained several times as a minister and then kicked out by the same people who used to embrace me and I could go on and on and on a man of God could go back and I could change my hair a thousand times and he meets had met me at several different churches and still didn't know, know who I was even at one of my uh my workplaces when I was a music teacher at Haven School, uh, he told me the same thing e every year. Every time he meets me, he tells me the same thing over and over again. So the man doesn't know me like that. So I know that's God, and I'm not easily, you know, to be dealt let, let people tell me a lot of things because uh, I don't take a lot of things on the surface. I've been around the block a few times, so to say. So I, I, I know that man is not playing, and I know he's annoying.